What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. I don't know if any of you guys follow Kaylin Lowry's latest baby daddy, Chris Lopez, on Instagram or Twitter, but in case you don't, I just wanted to let you know that he watched our videos from yesterday. Remember, my Twitter follower, Watermelon, like helped me put together this story about how Kale's been after this other guy. He's got him in the house like at midnight with the kids and stuff. Well, Chris literally watched the video and subsequently went on an Instagram like shade throwing binge and straight up called us out, the Grace Report, uh, and said thanks for all the information or whatever. So enough of my blabbing. Why don't you just watch it for yourself? <laughs> Now, because he's got a filter over his voice, I can't like exactly tell you what he said word for word. I can only paraphrase. But from what I managed to gather, he said something about being quiet. But after seeing that stuff, which I'm assuming is a video that Watermelon and I made, um, there's some stuff that he wants to say. He also says that he won't exactly say what, but he will say this. That shit is unexpected. I And this part I can quote. He said, I, uh, I wasn't surprised and I wasn't that big on her, but my son, I love you and I miss you. And then obviously in the last one, there was no voice filter. So you could just hear that he said, shout out to the Grace Report, you guys. I like highlighted my decolletage specifically because I know he watches the show now. Now from the video that we posted yesterday, I'm pretty sure that the part that got him like absolutely heated was when um, it was brought to light that Kale had brought this other Dioncio, Dioncio. Some one of you taught me how to pronounce this in the comment section, but I forgot. But anyway, you know who I'm talking about. Remember, we exposed the fact that Kale had brought him into the house at like midnight, just past midnight, almost one o'clock in the morning. And uh, almost certainly while, uh, f what is it? Five, six week old at the time, baby Lo was in the house. I think that's what sent Chris over the edge. And I am not surprised one bit. I would be absolutely pissed off if I knew anyone who acted like that, especially, you know, as they kept the father of the child away. It's very, very reckless, promiscuous, dangerous behavior to exhibit, not only for yourself, but, you know, in front of your child and around your child, especially while they're that young and you've got other really young children that you've already like shaken up their lives so many times in the span of just a year and a half. Now, Chris, I know Kale made you delete that tweet about the Grace Report and all those videos, but if ever you need to, you know, spill your heart out, have a shoulder to lean on or anything like that, you know the DMs are wide open, you guys. He literally thanked us for opening his eyes to the bullshit and continued to subtweet Kale throughout the night. It seems like Watermelon and I have already saved more lives than Janelle. What do you guys think about all of this? Um, do you think that Chris is actually gonna do anything about the way that Kale is sort of exposing their child to so much danger? Make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more, feel free to share with your friends as well, and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.